Wait, Dad, it's spraying again. The Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you a rundown on where we're at with the little ute. We've had rain here nearly every single day since the day after I brought it back, so it's been a real pain in the butt. But anyhow, I have uh, managed to put the seat in it, give it a little bit of a clean out. Door trims are on. Um, got the driver's side door working which was just just needed a bit of WD everything's just been sitting around for so long that things have seized up but what I want to do today is hit the outside with some suds do a test panel with the buff and see what the paint comes up like fire it up and see if she moves under its own power <laughs> That's just a quick hit with a buff with some compound and um, I don't know if you can see the shine compared say to the bonnet maybe. It's coming up really nice. Probably wouldn't hurt with some 2000 over at first maybe. It is a little bit um, rough to the touch so yeah I might hit it with some 2000 go over the whole car and then we'll buff it up more nice with some decent polish and she'll come up really good. There's a better view of the shine right there. You can see the difference. Wow, hey, look at that. The sun's popped out. That's unusual. Clean the back out and um, was able to get a better idea of what was going on in here. The plan is usually at the back they have a door to take the spare out, and that's all gone. It's just rusted away. I've only got one bumper out. Um, I could probably hunt around and find those parts, but I'm not gonna, you know what I'm like. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fabricate a new back half of that area there and close it off. I'll move this rail here and I'll have it so you access the spare wheel from inside the back of the tray. I'll have it so you can lift up the timber. And at the back, it's an old trick we used to do with the um, XK, XM, XL, XP Falcons is run it sitting in a wagon bumper bar. So I'm probably going to do that, just cover that whole back section. Although the front bumper bars are similar to VE and up on the VCs, the rear bumpers are the same as the AP5, AP6s in the early style. And here's the bar off the VG, the rear bar. I've been playing with that. They're a bit wider, but I'm thinking I might cut it in the middle. Put it across the back so with the vg rear bumper it'll kind of go with that theme we'll see i might not do it but it's a plan i've got it it's not going to cost me anything and if you squint you'll be able to see how that's going to work i think it'll work out just fine as it starts to rain again so let's um get a fuel container and we'll see if we can get this thing rolling
Go! A little bit of damage to the wires, but we got that out quick enough not to cause too many dramas. Wait, Dad, it's spraying again. The I hadn't tightened the uh, hose clamp just there and she'd um, slipped off when it started so I just sprayed fuel straight down into that crack there's a crack if you haven't seen the other episodes there's a crack in the exhaust manifold there and that's what the fluffing noise you can't see it is so it just poured raw fuel straight down into the exhaust manifold and just caught on fire and then the second time we noticed that the fuel hose that comes up from the fuel pump which was facing that way it was also spraying a bit of residue um, that was inside the pump so my mistake again because when we were at um, Gilgandra when we first fired this up we weren't getting fuel out of this so I just assumed that nothing would come out so yeah nearly bit us twice I still got all my eyebrows thankfully lucky one um, what can I say got to be more careful don't be in such a rush. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I hope you had a safe and fantastic Christmas. And I hope 2021 is a much better year for everybody. See you later.